Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I My name is Elsa and this is another weekly-ish vlog. I think I'm gonna do a week, but we'll see, of what I'm getting up to in life. I quite literally just woke up, so this is what I look like, but hi, good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. I got up this morning made the bed and then really just like pulled out the camera which is so authentic of me not even like wearing makeup or anything but like that's obviously not important so anyways good morning i would have seen you last in that video that i posted or it should have been posted of all the baby clothes that i've been buying update i'm still pregnant i'm almost 39 weeks and my due date is in like 10 days i think so we're getting close. I definitely feel tired, heavy, anxious, but I also feel like great because obviously I'm going to go meet my baby soon, which is so exciting. And I also officially left work for maternity leave. So I have a, so much free time to just A, get stuff done and B, relax because if you're a working girly, you know that when your job consumes the hours in your day and you only really have a few hours in the evening to get things done and you're nine months pregnant, it is like literally the most exhausting thing, even when you're not pregnant. So yeah, that is really nice that I'm off work. And yesterday, so today's Monday, yesterday was Sunday and I had a really chill weekend I actually like cleared out every single one of our closets, like cleared out, like I had bags of donations and also rearranged a lot of the furniture. So like any like side table or like extra lamp that I just thought was like too cluttery in our space, I literally packed in the car. I told my husband, I'm like, we are driving to your parents in New Jersey and we are dropping all this clutter off because it's like things that I don't wanna sell or get rid of because one day when we do have like a second bedroom or like a bigger space, I do still want these furniture pieces, but now with the baby coming in a one bedroom apartment in Manhattan, we're very limited with the space that we have, especially with baby equipment coming in. So I feel so much lighter, so much brighter. And I had a really productive day yesterday, but it was exhausting, like physically exhausting. I was like on my feet, I was like, <sighs> climbing i was like putting things away in the closet i was like on the floor vacuuming sweeping i was like doing it all um which by the way they call nesting and that means that your body is like telling you that your baby's coming soon so you like have this like sensation to just like clean everything and like prep almost so maybe baby's coming this week who knows but yeah that's what i did yesterday and today i feel great like i woke up my apartment's clear like I had just so much clutter just like sitting in like one corner of the apartment because I was just like accumulating stuff. I was like, hey, this we're going to take out, this we're going to take out. And it just kind of like sat there. And then yesterday, Sunday evening, we just like did the drive and we also picked up groceries. So we're like fully stacked. We're cleaned. Uh, I slept in this morning, so I'm like rested. It just feels, today's a good day. Like I feel good. The sun's shining. Like I haven't seen sun in like three weeks. I don't know what the heck is going on in New York City. Um, but there has just been no sun. It hasn't necessarily been so like cold, but it's definitely been like gloomy. So it's really nice to have the sun out. And yeah, that's a little update of my life. <sighs> I feel like my belly has dropped, which is so insane because I had already thought my baby was sitting so low. And now that I'm like officially dropping, obviously getting ready for labor, I'm like, is this gonna drop even more because I literally feel like it's gonna fall out <laughs> as crazy as that sounds but yeah pregnancy is a crazy thing and yeah I don't know what in the world we're gonna be doing today I have like an like not fun things to take care of like I have to like apply for my maternity benefits and I have to make a few phone calls with like that stuff and then I also got a bunch of new lamps because the lamps that we had in our apartment we bought like right when we moved in just to 
have a lamp you know what i mean like you know when you just buy things because you kind of need it and you're like oh eventually like we'll buy the ones that we want and we'll get rid of these ones yeah two years later we still had those atrocious lamps that we bought literally the day that we moved in and i just couldn't take it anymore so i placed an order um and i got three new lamps and i love them but one of the lamps are, is missing a piece so i can't even set it up properly and like that was just annoying so i have to call the company what else Um, and then just like little things, I really took care of everything yesterday. Like past Elsa is so, well, future Elsa, I mean, is so impressed and so happy with past Elsa. That's what I meant to say. Um, cause today I got to sleep in and like, I didn't feel like I had a million things to do. I was thinking I can leave the apartment today cause it's sunny and like maybe get outside errands done. And by errands, I mean like I ran out of foundation and... I just like don't want to be in a position where I need to go out and I have a newborn and I don't have foundation. You know what I mean? So just like little things like that. But we'll see if I actually get around to doing that today. I'm going to like tell myself, especially now that I'm not working. Um, Elsa, if you're tired, just sit. Because like that's my biggest issue. Like I just can't sit. I don't know what is wrong with me. I feel like I need to do a million things a day. Even if they're tiny things, it's just time consuming. It's tiring. My legs are swollen. And then I just like am exhausted when I get to bed. And then you don't even have good sleeps at this point in pregnancy. So you don't even feel rested the next day. So anyways, done complaining. But yes, welcome to my channel. I am going to make coffee. I'm going to make breakfast because we went grocery shopping yesterday. And uh, oh, and I'm going to show you, I think this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you some things that I've been buying over the past few weeks, clothing wise for myself, not for the baby. I've been doing a lot of shopping for baby and in the past few weeks, especially with all the holiday sales, I was like, you know what, Elsa? spoil yourself like buy yourself that dress like I was finding the craziest discounts on baby clothes but on just like regular stuff too like home home decor and just like honestly like a lot of like clothing um, and I haven't gone clothing shopping for myself in a very long time because my body's changing and like it was just like shopping for me was like a touchy subject but I did buy a lot of things with the holiday season it's having like a lot of sales and I did buy a lot of these things in like my previous pregnancy size so they're obviously not things I'm gonna wear now or in the next few weeks but I will get to wear them eventually and like that just makes me happy so I'm also gonna show you the things that I bought and I guess we're gonna see where this video goes so yeah that is my little update and I'm gonna go make a coffee okay I'm gonna show you the most beautiful dress that I ordered off of Bird Off Goodman, I believe. It's a Zimmerman dress and it was just so well priced for what it was that I bought it. And I am going to try it on after baby's born because it, it, I still like fall in the window of return. And if it's like not working, like I, I feel like I'm going to have an idea if it's like going to work for me or not. Um, I definitely can't try it on now. My bump is like way too big, but this is the dress. Here, let me like flip the camera, hold on. So this is me, and this is the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. It's really backlit, obviously, because of where I placed it, but it's in this uh, like medium blue color, and it's a really um, sturdy or like stiff tool, but stiff in a really good way. Do you know what I mean? And then the sleeves are puffy, and then there's a v-neck and it's a zipper clasp in the back and it's on the model at least was so flattering on and these are just the kind of things that i would wear all the time before pregnancy so I, when i saw this and in the color because obviously you would know by now that i'm having a baby boy and i'm just really into blues so i thought this dress was gorgeous i can wear it to weddings i'm probably if it fits right going to wear it to the party we're gonna have for the baby and yeah, I thought this was so beautiful. I really hope that this camera is picking it up because I can actually move it. Hold on, let me move this. This is quite difficult because I don't have a tripod, but this is the dress without the horrible lighting from Zimmerman, which is so beautiful. It's not to the floor. It's at this like, honestly, I call it an awkward length. 
um, but awkward in a good way. Like I love when things fall in an awkward place. I think it's quite classy. So this dress is, when I saw it, I was like, that's crazy. And I go on this website, I believe it's called, or it's pronounced list, L-Y-S-S-T. I'm gonna have to double check on that. But it basically shows you, like if you type in the type of dress or designer that you're looking at, it shows you all the different um, department stores that carry this brand and all these d different department stores have obviously their own sales and discounts going on. So you can basically find the item that you want for the best price. So I got this for a really good price. All my Zimmerman pieces are always bought at a really good price. I literally never spend full price on Zimmerman. It is just not what I'm gonna do. It's just ridiculous. But this dress caught my eye. I'll try it on after baby's born, which I have a feeling is very soon. And then I'm gonna decide if I'm keeping it or not. I got it in a size zero, but the website said that a zero fits like a size four US. Don't know what that means, so. I picked it up. I have another dress from Zimmerman in a size zero that I used to wear all the time and that fit me really well even when I was like four or five months pregnant. So I was just going with my usual size. I was like, it probably should work. So this is the first thing that I bought and I'm like absolutely obsessed. This is the next thing that I bought. Um, my mom actually got this for me. So my parents came in from the 23rd of December, I believe, and they left um the 27th or the 28th so they were here over the christmas break in manhattan which was like a madhouse but we really enjoyed our time together and we walked around bloomingdale's um on fifth avenue and we walked by the self-portrait area and like they were having really good sales too not in stores but online which by the way hack if you ever shop around a department store check online Usually the designer will, um, or like the brand will um, honor the price that's online. But in the case that they don't, just try it on in store and then order it online, which is what I do. So we walked by Cell Portrait and we saw this and they didn't have a size zero or two, but they had um, sizes like four, six and eight. And I was like, you know what? It is so well priced so discounted that I'm actually gonna just, my mom's like, just I'll order it for you. And you'll like know if it will fit you post baby. And if you like it, keep it. And if you don't, just send it back. So she ordered it for me and I'm so, so grateful. And look how beautiful. So it's actually a skirt. I'm not gonna undo it because everything's like placed so nicely, but it is a pleated skirt as you can see. And then it comes with a cute little jacket. I like that there was black detailing on it because I feel like anything that's too white is like not so wearable unless obviously you're a bride. And then it comes with a really cute belt. Okay, this next item is so beautiful. And if you're a true Zimmerman fan, you know that this is like their typical print. I would say they have like a lot of different dresses and skirts and stuff in this floral print, in this color scheme. And I literally, jaw dropped on the floor when I saw this in the sale section. I actually saw it in Saks Fifth Avenue in the Zimmerman department on a mannequin. Didn't even bother walking up to it. I assumed if it's on the mannequin, it's probably new this season. It's probably over $2,000. Um, but I took a picture of it just to like have it on my camera roll because I was like, this is such a beautiful dress. I like want to always look at it whenever I want to like on my camera roll. So I took a picture of it and then I'm scrolling on the Saks app and I get targeted with all these ads, obviously for all the sales that they're having. And I see the stress is on sale. And I was like, that is insane. And not only was the stress on sale, like not only was Zimmerman already on sale, but Saks was offering like an additional 30% off your purchase if you were to like buy between these certain days. So I got this so discounted, it is insane. I have absolutely no idea where I am wearing this to, but I have so many weddings this summer. And like I said, I just am a very formal wear person. Like I have a lot of things that I wear formal wear to. So 
to have a dress like this in my closet for literally any occasion was just is just gonna like I know it's gonna come in handy so this is literally the most stunning dress ever I'll show it to you close up so beautiful this is something that is so up my alley I'm a silk girl high neck long sleeve to the floor like this just screams Elsa so I wish I could try it on for you and just like show you I wish I could try it on for myself but there's just like no way it's gonna fit the bump right now but it is so pretty I got it in a size 0p which is for the petite girls and I think the petite part is just the length um, and I'm five foot two so I'm pretty short I'm pretty petite so I opted for the OP and I think it's so pretty so really excited about this one too I can't believe that I got two Zimmerman dresses like pretty much for the price of one maybe not even and I'm really proud of myself honestly it's like when I find deals which by the way guys everything I wear everything I own everything I have I probably did not pay full price just so you know I am just talented when it comes to finding deals and things that are discounted and well priced so really proud of myself i'm trying to think if i have anything else that i wanted to show you that i bought that was crazy discounted oh yes another thing from zimmerman oh my god i bought three items from zimmerman this one was so well priced i literally spend more on regular brands it's a bathing suit i got it off of zimmerman i literally spend more on like Monday swimwear bathing suits, which is my favorite swimwear brand, than I did on this Zimmerman swimsuit. So let me show you that. Give me just like one minute. The swimsuit that I got, it's a one piece. Um, doesn't really look like much when you're holding it up, but if you were to see this on, it is just so stunning. I think this is actually, yeah, this is the right way. So it's a strapless full piece bathing suit with a pretty full coverage bottom, which I'm, you know comfortable with postpartum and it also came with straps which is why i actually bought it because if it didn't come with straps i would have been like mm, not so practical for me i'm a little bit you know bigger chested but it does come with straps just like plain simple straps and like a little loop thing um this is so beautiful usually the swimwear pieces at zimmerman are like in the 300s sometimes more i got this for like maybe like 80 bucks which literally is less expensive than the one pieces I have from Monday swimwear. I do have um, another shimmer bathing suit from Monday actually, and it's a one piece with straps and it basically kind of looks like this, like medium coverage at the bottom. And it was probably like 150. So I got a Zimmerman one piece for $80. That's a steal. And this I actually got from the Zimmerman website. So like I didn't like shop through a department store. Um, because the website itself was having really good sales too. So I got this and this is just gonna be really good to wear this summer Like I know we're so far away from summer, but last summer I was in my first trimester and I was miserable. So this summer I'm gonna be a mom But I'm definitely gonna be living my best life. So I'm really excited about this piece. It is so pretty. It's like uh, Is this pink? Yeah, I consider this pink and it's really shimmery and it's nice and I feel like it's just secure to wear when you're a mom with a baby but you're also at the pool or the beach so yes that is my little luxury or like high-end haul and I'm proud of myself because I got all these things for really good prices I was also gifted one of them so I didn't actually buy all all the pieces but anyways really proud of myself excited to just dress myself up again Okay guys, I'm dressed for the day. Whoa, it's so zoomed in. I'm gonna go on a little walk and then get some stuff done because it's... How's that? Yeah. My parents have the, what do you call it by the way, the stroller. Oh, it arrived? Yeah, it arrived. Yay, our stroller's in? That's exciting. But yeah, I'm dressed for our errand and this is the weather update. Not a storm, but definitely not as sunny as before, so. Guys, my day just took a total turn. Um, as you can see, the lighting is so different. I don't even know what clips I got because the minute I went outside, it started to not rain, but literally storm. So it was like wind, rain, hail, I think. I think we're getting like snow tonight and tomorrow. I think we're getting like an actual snowstorm. But anyways, 
I got fresh air, I walked around, I got really, really, really nauseous in, during my walk. Um, but I did make it to Sephora and my bag is all butchered because it literally got soaking wet. But I got a foundation and then they were having $10 off all foundations in store. And I believe online too, which I didn't know about. So I was like, cool. Um, didn't know that, but good thing I'm picking up a foundation. And I usually just do the Giorgio Armani, which is what I use right now. But it's like so dark on me. And I just like look ridiculous, like blending it down my neck even. Because then like my hands are pale. And like if my legs are showing, like my legs are pale. So I actually went back to an oldie but a goodie. And it's the Dior Backstage. So this shade is literally 1C. I think it was like... The lightest shade that they had because that is how pale I am but that is the foundation I remember loving this so I was just like in the mood you know like I don't know how to describe it usually I come into Sephora and I get like the same things that I always use and like I don't adventure but I was just you know intrigued so I picked that up and then because it's a matte foundation and apparently I have dry skin. That's what the girl at Sephora told me. Um, I also picked up the face and body primer, which apparently it works really well with this. They're both by Dior. And I'm gonna try it on now because I'm gonna shower anyways. And then I have a bunch of like computer stuff to do. And I don't feel like trying it on at night because I feel like even though this isn't the best lighting, at least it's like natural daylight so i'm gonna try this on we're gonna see how it works i have so much um pigmentation and like scarring just from previous acne and i basically need something to cover it up when i wear foundation it's for the purpose of covering that up it's not really for anything else i don't have like active breakouts or anything um it's really just for the scars on my face so we're gonna try this and hope for the best I also picked up something really cute at H&M. Um, it's crazy because now that, I mean, I'm not even a mother yet, but now that I'm a mom-to-be, when I walk into a store and they have a baby section, like I literally don't even look in the women's section for myself. It's like I go straight to the baby section and I can spend literally hours just looking at baby clothes. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to put it on. This definitely has a smell to it. And I'm nervous that this is a product that's going to irritate me. Because now I just got all red. But that could also be from just touching my face. It also would help if I had a mirror in front of me. Hmm. Let me see if I'm actually even like using this product right. Let me like read the box, which I feel like I never do. But... Okay, so it can be worn alone without any foundation. Interesting. To blur imperfections and to achieve a naturally bright and even complexion, skin appears plumped and more hydrated. Okay, so I like the plump and the hydration part. I don't know if you can wear this without foundation if you're trying to cover up scarring because this gives like no coverage, I wanna say. It feels silicone-y, but I actually don't know if there's silicone in this. Like, I'm not a makeup person, so just, like, don't listen to me. But if that's what it feels like, if you've ever felt, like, a silicone primer, that's definitely what it feels like. Like, the Makeup Forever primers, I used to use it. I feel like everyone used to. Like, that had, like, a really silicone base. That's what this feels like. So, I'm actually going to just, like, peek in the mirror, and I'll be right back. I look a lot worse in camera than I do in the mirror. I feel like that's like a common issue that a lot of people have. In the mirror, I do see that it it did a little something. Like I just look more like, you know, like a little bit more awake. I don't know if it made the biggest difference in the world. I'm really curious to see what would happen if I mix the two together. Like if I mix the primer and the foundation. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on. And I don't know what kind of brush to use. I don't know if I should use like a sponge or... A fluffy brush or like one of the, like the flat sturdy ones this is like why i'm so bad at this like i just like am not a makeup person like i don't know what i'm doing and i stick to the same things and then when i change things up i get really excited and then i usually end up being upset with the turnout so 
Um, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm just putting it on with a regular brush and that's mostly because I don't feel like wetting my beauty blender. Um, I also did not moisturize at all today and it's winter and my skin is just extra dry so that might play a role in how I like this foundation but that's totally my fault but um, I don't know I feel like when I put it first on my hand because that's how I apply foundation I put it in my hand and then I scoop it up with a brush I feel like on my hand it looks so pink it's like is that my skin tone I don't even know but then it kind of just blends in and I feel like it's actually it's actually like not too bad okay I'm not gonna bore you but I'm gonna put this on my face quickly and then set it and then I'm just gonna like see if I like it and then we can move on <laughs> and then when I walked into H&M they had a whole rack of just like BB items on sale and um they had a lot of sizes in like six months and up and i'm just like holding myself back because i don't want to have like too much in the apartment six months is so close but it's also very far away and i feel like i might just like want different things and like i'm obviously going to know my baby at that point so i'm just going to like know and be a lot better at what to buy so i held off on the sales section but i did find within that pile the cutest little baby onesie for newborns it's like open hands um, which I think is good. I feel like to have some onesies that don't have closed hands, but it's footed, which is so cute. And then there's a little giraffe on it and it's called velour. So like not really a velvet cause like velvet doesn't really sit well with me, but this is like an actually nice material. So if you see this on the H and M app or website, which I have plenty of times and it says velour and that turns you off, just know that it's not really velvet like at all. It's like actually pretty nice material. Like it's kind of nice to touch. So this is what I got. It snaps. So it's not a zipper feature, um, which is probably annoying, but this one's cute. This isn't like a practical onesie. It's more like a cute onesie. And then I believe they had a matching hat which I should have gotten, but yeah. Okay, I just got ready. Sun completely gone. It is like gray blue outside, so my lighting's all out of sorts, but it is what it is. I am going to film a TikTok, a few TikToks. I'm gonna film like baby clothing items, and then I'm going to film my new balances. And then I'm also gonna film what I'm wearing because these have been life-saving throughout my entire pregnancy, literally, summer, fall, and even winter. So I'm gonna make a few of those TikToks. I don't know how much of that I can actually like film on YouTube, just cause like I need to be focusing on my tripod and my phone on TikTok, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm actually gonna show you what I'm wearing in the mirror and also give a bump update. So this is what 39 weeks looks like. And my jumpsuit is Aritzia, and then I'm wearing my slippers that are from Apheri, and then I'm gonna put on a cardigan. Um, this jumpsuit is officially tight on like my stomach and leg area, which it wasn't like two weeks ago, so I'm definitely growing. But that is the baby bump. So cute. <sighs> yeah. I wonder how many more days I'll be pregnant for. It's like the weirdest feeling because every time I feel the hiccups or I feel the kicks, I'm always like, oh, are these like the last few moments I'm ever gonna feel these with my first baby? Like, am I gonna go into labor tonight? Do I have to like really just pay attention to those little hiccups and you know, know that I'm never gonna feel them again in my belly, which is sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and film TikToks. Oh, and I have actually, I have that viral light that everyone bought for their photos, except I don't like mine, so I don't know if mine's the correct one, but maybe this will help. I just feel like it makes everything very white. Did I do anything? This is basically what it is. And maybe you can adjust the light not doing anything no it's not but whatever okay i'm gonna attach this to my phone and film some tiktok videos 
my camera just died on me but basically i started the clip off by saying that i made dinner the kitchen's a disaster but we're gonna just take care of it tomorrow because tonight it's like 8 30 right now ben and i are gonna walk over and get some froyo and i'm so excited we used to get froyo all the time together and then we kind of stopped like it was just like a phase we went through and then we stopped doing it and i've been really craving it and i know that there's gonna be a time where we can't just like freely go out and get froyo at eight o'clock at night together anymore so we're gonna do that tonight and i'm so excited things on my shop my which i have to show you because i put a lot of effort into it and i know it doesn't get a lot of clicks or anything like that because I obviously need to grow a following before I can actually have people see my links, but I'm proud of my shells that I've created. So it basically looks like this on the mobile app. So you can see, here, let me do it like this. We got winter picks. We have my links for men's stuff year-round basics this one i'm like really particular about because these are like my all-time faves and these are all things that i actually own and wear and i have fall pieces summer pieces spring pieces and just like things that are like really my all-time favorite basics so that is on there i have home stuff I have a fall collection, which is down here. I have an ass scene on TikTok, which I thought would be convenient because I have people commenting on my TikTok videos sometimes being like, where is this from? Where is this from? If you ever want to know what I am wearing or what I'm showing in a TikTok video, it is probably going to be in this shelf. Ass scene on TikTok. Boots, gifts, maternity stuff, makeup, home finds, and then my favorite, which is the baby finds. And I have a feeling like this shelf is going to be very helpful to a lot of people that stumble across my page and are looking for baby clothes. We're going for Froyo. You think I'm going to go into labor tonight? No, it's not tonight. Really? Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's tonight either. But it could. We're going to find it. It's definitely dropping. It looks lower? Way lower. That's crazy. The, the Regas are opening. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? The Regas? The Regas. Regay. We have to get Froyo today because it might be our last day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though. I've been asking all week. I don't have anything on me other than my phone. Right. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yay, we're getting Froyo. Are you gonna get some? Am I gonna get some? Um, probably not. So here's the thing. There's two Froyo places right next to each other. One is like so good and one is average. No, I don't like it. Really? Yeah. The one that is so good though doesn't come with toppings. And I'm like in the mood for toppings. So go there. It's better for But then I can thing. just like smash up some Oreos myself and put it on it. <laughs> That's realistically what I'm gonna get at 16 Handles. Get whatever you want, I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna decide when I get there. They're right next door to each other, and I basically only eat tart flavor, so. Woo! Bump update, still pregnant. Due date, five days. Woo! Okay, change of plans. This is the randomest thing ever, but we passed by a diner. And now we're in the diner and I just got a milkshake, which is kind of like my craving, but I'm so excited. Hey guys, it is a few days later. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't vlog the last few days. I think it's just because I was really honestly not feeling the best. So I just didn't feel like picking up the camera, but I am going to end off this video very quickly with a little haul of things that I got off of Banana Republic. Um, I posted a video, like a whole video just for baby items and clothing, actually baby clothing that I had been buying for baby 
over the last few months and everything that I was showing is on sale or was on sale at least. And then Banana Republic came out of nowhere like last week and had the craziest sale I have ever seen um, on their baby clothes. So I got a lot of baby clothes for like 10 to $15 a piece when like originally everything on that website is like $60 and up. So I'm really excited to show you what I got. And it actually came in two big boxes that I obviously ripped open the minute it came in, but I am gonna show you quickly. So I feel like for starters, not so exciting because I already showed you in my last video, but I got their, well, I got a bunch of their footed onesies. So these footed onesies are the thickest that I've seen so far between Gap, Old Navy. Mm, I would say they're thicker than the Kite Baby ones too. So I just like, um, I don't know, they're, they're just so cute and they have really cute little details. I go more in depth in my other video, but they're zippered. And these are the newborn sizes and I got a few newborn sizes. I got zero to three and then I got a ton of three to six months. And then I got a little bit of six to nine months too, just in case like I really do love them and I don't want to give them up. So we got my favorite color, this green. This one is like my all time favorite. I literally got it in every size, but it's this like ivory one with uh, baby elephants on it. So adorable. And then I also got um, a green one with zebras on it. It's just in, packed in the hospital bag. So can't show you that. And then they had these undershirts, which I know isn't like the most exciting thing, but this, these were like $5. And I believe originally they're like 25. So yeah, got these three things. Actually, I got like a bunch of these. I think I got like 20 onesies in total between like all the different sizes because they were just so well priced. So yeah, Banana Republic killed it on that. Next from Banana Republic, I got this little hat. I actually think I either ordered this by accident or they gave it to me by accident because I don't recall even seeing this on the website, but it's a little hat. It kind of matches the onesies that I got him, so it's cute. I mean, it looks big for a newborn, but who knows? It's cute either way. Okay, next in this bag, I didn't want to go crazy with newborn clothes and I didn't want to go crazy with like zero to three months either however some of their things were just so cute so i picked this up in zero to three months but it does look quite big i guess we'll see how it works out but it's this like cashmere little romper thing and it is so cute originally it's 130 dollars yeah but i got it i think for like 30 dollars maybe 25 dollars so very very cute and it's in my favorite color Next, I got a bunch of these little pants. So I got this one, zero to three months, in the color brown, clearly. And then to match that, I got this little shirt. And now looking at it, I do wish I got three to six. I feel like this is just something that he would be wearing when he's slightly older, because it's like a full outfit. But nonetheless, it is very cute and it was so inexpensive and it's really nice quality. So, and then obviously you can wear the shirt with different pants or this pants with different shirts. So happy about that. Oh, this is so cute. I got it in two sizes. So this is the three to six months. It's just those, um, onesie PJs. This one is not footed. Um, three to six months. I was thinking it'd be a little, a lot warmer out. Um, maybe it'd be nice to have his feet out sometimes just to like have a variation of onesies But same idea very thick zipper it has the button detail and it is just plain simple and sleek so got that and this is the zero to three months Very cute. I got those pair of pants in this gray color so cute And then to go with that, I got a little cashmere sweater, which this was probably over a hundred dollars. Oh, a hundred dollars. Okay. This sweater was a hundred dollars. This tiny little thing was a hundred dollars and I got it for like 25. So, so cute. I can obviously match it with anything, but you get the gist. This is another undershirt and just a bigger size. I believe this is zero to three months. And I got 
pants again in a bigger size these are three to six months and just to let you know originally these are $30 pants but I believe I got them for like seven dollars um, and I got them in this cream color next I got these little boot socky things these are so cute um a lot of the things that I have for my baby have like footed or footed basically so I don't know how much I'll use these cute little socks but they were just too cute I couldn't pass them up so got this as well lastly I actually really like this item just because if you are looking for a gift or yeah a gift basically for a friend or anyone in your life that's expecting I like when brands do this cute little boxing and it comes with like an entire set so like if you are gifting it to someone it's already pretty cute this is originally $200 it's basically a cashmere sweater a cashmere pair of matching pants and then a cashmere hat I got it on sale for like 30 bucks and I got it in this gray color. It's zero to three months, so. Sweater. Pants. And everything, by the way, in the back has a little BR on it, which is so cute. And then matching hat. I swear I would probably wear this if it would fit me because this is so cute. So all of that, and then it came in a very, cute box like I said and then I had a feeling that I would really like this so I actually picked it up in a different color it's like a taupey brown color um but not in a newborn size I got it in a, a size 18 months I believe so he'll be a lot older when he wears it. it'll be you know next winter ish no what in two winters it'll be close to why am I freaking out right now? Yeah, he'll be wearing it in like two winters, but I just thought it was really cute. Maybe he'll fit in it before that if, you know, the sizing's a little off, but I thought it was cute, so I did get two of those gift sets. Is pretty much it for my, oh, there I am. That is pretty much it for my vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope it was entertaining this week. This vlog was all over the place, but then again, so was my week. Um... But again, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram, but most importantly, my TikTok if you're like interested in outfit ideas or like mini hauls, if like YouTube video styles aren't your thing, I post on TikTok too. So check that out. I love you. And hopefully next time I see you, I will have a little baby. So yeah, bye.